welcome back to our channel. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my fertility necklace. I mentioned in a previous video that I would uh, talk to you guys about it and this is the video. So I have been looking for a fertility necklace for quite a while now and I couldn't find anything that I really 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 liked purely because I hate wearing jewelry. I hate wearing necklaces because they're very heavy on my neck. And it just, I don't know, it just, it just makes me uncomfortable feeling something heavy hanging on my neck. I don't know why, but all of the fertility necklaces I could find, they were all very big and bulky and thick and the pendants were all very big and heavy and I didn't really like anything that I was looking for. So before my holiday to Portugal, I purchased this chain and the little studded cross and I said, well, you know, I'm a religious person so I'm just gonna get this and wear it as my lucky charm and my fertility necklace um, because I felt comfortable with it it's very small and girly at the same time and it's all I was looking for so I went ahead and I bought this and I was very happy with it meanwhile I went to Portugal on holiday and while I was there I decided to go to some jewelry shops to see if I could find anything related to fertility, any little stone or crystal or any little thing that was related to a fertility jewelry. We went there, me and Fabio went uh, to different jewelry shops and we couldn't find anything and we were, you know, we wanted to put an element on the little chain, something that would make it more special and something that it would make it more, you know, us and something that would focus the attention for our journey rather than just a beautiful cross. Uh, so we carried on looking, we couldn't find anything. So I said, oh, you know, I'm gonna have to keep searching online and maybe go on Etsy and try and find something online that I like and that's now gonna look good with this little um, studded cross. So I never thought about it anymore. I said, you know, I'm not gonna find anything here. So when I go back to England, I'll find something online. So, in the meantime, I was going through some jewelry that I had in Portugal and Fabio's house, some jewelry that I never ended up bringing to England, and I was going through it, and all of a sudden, I find the, the next pendant that it's uh, on the side of the little cross. I will show you um, an up-close uh, clip right here. So as you guys can see, I have a little cross right here, a little studded cross, and I have a little um, dummy pacifier here next to the cross. I think it looks very cute, very girly, very beautiful, and also I have a little thin chain um, because obviously I don't like heavy, thick chains, so this was perfect. So as you can see, the pendant that I have close to the cross is a little dummy, a little pacifier, whatever you want to call it. And I felt that it was amazing that I found it in between the stuff that I already owned. You know, something that I was looking for everywhere and I couldn't find anything anywhere that would relate to fertility. But uh, finding this uh, dummy or pacifier, um, it's very funny because, you know, it's still related to fertility because it's related to babies, obviously. But it's not something very, you know, sentimental, like with a very heavy, you know, meaning or anything like that. It's just a funny way to put um, a fertility symbol in my necklace. So I absolutely love it. And I couldn't be happier to find it, especially in between the stuff that I already had. I felt like it was there for a reason and I found it for a reason. So it made me feel that it was so much more special because of the fact that I already owned it and because of the fact that I didn't have to go out and buy something on purpose to put on my necklace. So this was the very short story that I had about my fertility necklace. I just think it's such a lovely, cute story and I'm so proud of my fertility necklace and to be honest, guys, when I don't wear it now, I just feel naked. I feel that something is missing and when I don't wear it, I put my hands on my neck and I go like, oh my god, I'm not wearing my necklace or did I wear it? Did I lose it? You know, I, I, I just, you know, it's a part of my 
life now and a part of my routine that I really love and it's very weird because as I said previously in the video um, I don't really like to wear jewelry I don't really like to wear necklaces I don't really like to have anything around my neck so knowing that this is something special that I have to remind me every day of my real life objectives and of what really 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 matters because as an anxious person I take everything very seriously so I needed to have a symbol to remind me every single day when I'm upset when someone makes me angry or when someone makes me sad I look at it and I go do you know what this is what matters this is where I need to channel all of my energies to and this is what really 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 is important in my life right now so I find that this necklace is very very special for that reason so thank you guys so much for watching this was our little video I hope you guys loved it thumbs up if you like this video comment down below if you also have any fertility necklaces or bracelets or rings or any symbols that you carry with you to remind you of your journey and leave your comments down below subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and I'll see you next time bye